Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to the 2018 Senate Blogs. My name is Mariella Hoverstein and I'm here to briefly inform you about the uh, last Senate meeting in 2017, which happened in on November 28th. And what I'll do is I'll tell you about the top five issues that were discussed. And the top issue was the new university policy and procedure, which was approved at this Senate meeting. Um, um, the, the case was presented by Jackie Phillips, who is the Deputy Chair of Senate, and um, uh, the new procedures uh, for, the pol for the University Medal now considers our new Emirates structure. So in brief, um, students are eligible for nomination if they've completed at least 48 credit points of their study at Macquarie University. If they have either done an undergraduate honours degree at AQF Level 8 or a postgraduate programme at AQF, AQF Level 9 or a Masters of Research programme. They must demonstrate sustained excellence throughout their university studies and have not been found responsible for serious misconduct um, at the university. The nominations are done by the heads of departments. So Jackie visited last year all the faculty board uh, meetings to um, explain the new rules and the nominations then go to the University Medal Committee for assessment. So at the November meeting, Senate approved these new, uh, the new uh, University Medal policy and procedure. Topic number two is the review of the academic honesty policy which is currently underway where this project is chaired by Mitch Parcell, the chair of the Senate Learning and Teaching Committee. He's been consulting um, with uh, a, a number of groups across campus on this and will bring the academic honesty committee uh, policy to the um, February Senate meeting for approval. Topic number three is uh, developing a model for shared responsibility of academic governance. In brief, this is a project that identifies decisions that are currently being made at the Senate level and um, to um, move those decisions to the faculty boards uh, for a number of reasons. First, to um, speed up the decision-making process, then to embed the decisions in the area of expertise, which often is at the faculty level, and finally also to uh, um, move uh, some of the work away, some of the uh, detailed work from Senate to allow Senate to and its committees to um, focus on the, the higher level work. And at the November meeting, we have resolved uh, a number of functions that are currently with Senate as suitable to move to either the faculty board or the faculty executive. And we are now embarking on the, on the second phase of this project, which is developing um, the tools and standards for faculty boards and, and, and the systems to allow faculty boards to communicate um, so that they can take on this new role uh, possibly from 2019 onwards. So this is one of the Senate projects that will roll into from 2017 into 2018. Number four on the list is a progress report on another project, the purpose and composition of Academic Senate. The aim of this project is to clarify the function of Academic Senate to, um, re to moderate the rules, to edit the rules, to bring out uh, much clearer the function of senators and academic senate in the university. Um, this is also a project that will um, roll into 2018 and at the November meeting I brought an update on the progress of this project. And finally topic number five is the discussion of the 2018 projects for senate. Uh, most of senate's work has been um, managed in projects and at this meeting we identified which of the 2017 projects will roll into 2018 and we've also discussed a number of new projects uh, for Senate to take on either as a lead or to participate as a stakeholder. And those were the top five topics of the November 28th Senate meeting 
as always the details are of course in the minutes and you can uh, download those minutes once we've approved them and read all the details about them you can find the minutes on the Senate web page the next Senate meeting is on February the 20th from 9.30. All staff are welcome to attend this Senate meeting, so just please uh, send us a very quick email below uh, to tell us that you're coming so we have enough chairs and enough biscuits for you. And that's it for me today, and I hope to update you in my next Senate blog. Bye-bye.